Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm gonna be starting my first back to school video. Today I'm just gonna prepare for my senior year online, sadly because of COVID. I don't have to get prepared physically mostly, but definitely like my room, my area space, because now my room is basically gonna be my classroom, which is really weird to think about. Another thing I also wanna do is go through my backpack because this thing has not been touched since March 13th, which was our last day of school. And then I also have a ton of school supplies downstairs that are like brand new that I need to go through and figure out if I need any of those. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you wanna see more back to school content, comment down below video ideas. I always appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel if you want to. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. So the things I wanna do today, which you'll see in this video, is go through my backpack and organize everything. And then go school supply shopping with all the stuff I have here around the house. Because honestly, I don't wanna buy a lot of stuff for this year because I'm just gonna be at home and then after that I also need to clean my room I want to reorganize my room and then go through my closet declutter a ton of stuff also this is the first time of me giving thought about school this whole entire summer I go back to school September 8th comment down below what day you guys go back to school or if you guys are already in school but I go back September 8th kind of late this year for me honestly so let's get into this um this is my backpack <laughs> it's gonna be like a what's in my backpack video no I'm kidding this is my backpack that I've been using ever since since late middle school, honestly. It's really dirty, really, really dirty. I apply my lipstick every morning in school and then when it's on my finger, I just like smear it on my backpack. I know it's really gross, but um, I have nowhere else to put it and I don't wanna put it on my cute outfit. So that explains the dirt splotches right there. I know that's really, really gross. So I'll open up the main pocket right here. I have my old planner. I need to buy a new one. That's the only thing I'll probably end up buying this whole year is a new planner because I live by my planner. Like my planner is my life. That's how I organize everything. Um, I have my English notebook. Uh, Emily wrote me a little oh. note in here. <laughs> it looks like I only used like this much of it last year and I have all of these new pages. So it looks like I'll use this as maybe a new notebook for English if I need a notebook. That's another weird thing. I haven't gotten any school supplies listings. Like I think it's just gotten to the point where the teachers are like, yeah, get whatever you want. So I think I'm just gonna have like a folder and notebook or a binder for each class. This is my chemistry folder it looks like. So I'm gonna take out all this stuff. There is some leftover a loose leaf paper here though. I'm gonna take out all these notes, take this paper for later. Look at that brand new folder. See? We're already repurposing here. We are budget friendly. This looks like English. Notice how like everything's blue. Oh my God. Brand new once again. That's one thing I stopped doing after like freshman year. I would write everything in Sharpie like what course it was for, but I stopped doing that and I just learned by the color coding. I mean, obviously I don't know how I did that with this year, but normally I'll have like different colored folders and then I just go by that for the classes because if I Sharpie every one of these things, then I have to use it for that designated class. I just don't really write on that. And if I do, I use like sticky, so I can like peel it off. I don't know if that makes sense, but that makes it like reusable. Although one thing, this just went by like all against of what I just said. I don't, I don't know why I wrote English on this. This looks like math. Um, fun. So those are three folders. Here's another folder. We have more loose leaf paper, putting that in another pile. This looks like more English, what the heck? And once again, a nice new folder with nothing written on it, perfect for any subject. And then, I have a cute little notebook here with no writing on it, but there is writing inside. When I did keep notes at one point, I don't do that anymore. Wow, I've only used like four pages out of this whole thing of notebook paper. So I'm gonna definitely tear out these like four pages and reuse this really cute notebook for something stuff all over my floor now. Do you guys like back to school shopping? Cause I think I used to, but ever since this whole Corona thing happened, I had no motivation to go this year, but usually I like to go like to Target. This is my sketchbook for art and I'm taking art again this year. So I'm just gonna go off of the extra pages I have in here until I need a new one. That's it for the big pocket. I'm like so all over the place right now. But one thing is that I'm going to be using this backpack again. I have divorced parents and I switch almost every single week. So I do need stuff to like switch my school supplies in. So I'm just gonna use my backpack as like a switch bag for all of this school stuff. If I lived in one house, then I wouldn't need a backpack. You know, I could just have everything in one desk area, but no. <laughs> and now in the second like laptop pocket here, let's see, I don't have anything. Good. 
thing. Now on this main pocket here. A charging cord. I'll put that over there. A kind bar. I don't know how old this is. This scares me. A tardy slip. <laughs> I'm like late every single day. That's one thing that's nice is that I don't have to leave my bed this year. Oh, here's the block adapter thing to that cord. I'll just put that over there. Does that land on my laptop? I have my lipstick that I use. This milk makeup thing. Although this one is old. I'm throwing that out along with this kind bar and my tardy slip. And then I also have a Tide pen. And then I have a smudge stick from art. That's another thing that was supposed to be with all those folders. Let me just get it really quick. I obviously have a pencil pouch. I know some people don't really use these, but I love using these. This just holds all of my pens and highlighters and stuff like that. But once like school got canceled and stuff, I still ended up using all these things. You guys were probably like, where are all her pencils? I'm zipping up these pockets again. My backpack's so floppy. I know for a fact when I'm going to college after I graduate, I'm definitely getting myself a nicer backpack. Now onto this front pouchy thingy. I'm gonna unzip this part of it. The first thing I see here is index cards, but it doesn't look like I used any of them, even though they're open, but I'm gonna Going to keep them. Hand sanitizer. Wow, I was already prepped before this whole pandemic. A pad. And now onto the last pocket, which is on the front right here. I'm sorry if you can hear my sister talking and screaming next door. She's playing Minecraft and I needed a film. So if you hear her, I'm sorry. This brings back so much memories. I have a Skippo set, never figured out really how to play this, but then also an Uno set. In study hall, I always had cards to play with my friends. It was like our thing to always bring Uno. Never got to finish that year. So now my backpack is completely empty. Now it's time to go school supply shopping. And and figure out what I need. So I have everything sorted out right here. And I also made a little note with all of the classes that I'm taking and what I think I will need. Obviously, I don't have the exact school supplies list, so this might change. For history, English, and science, I plan on taking a notebook and a folder. And I plan on putting paper in my science notebook. For art, I plan on just taking my sketchbook. And then for math, I plan on having a folder with paper and then also a binder. I only really wanna carry around one binder this year. I feel like I'll be making a lot of print offs in that class with like math practice stuff and I would want to put that in a binder instead of a folder. I'm gonna take out these random note pages from my English notebook. Perfect, so now I have a brand new English notebook. And then I also needed a folder, so I think I'm gonna take one of these empty folders and use it for that. It kind of matches, I don't know. This is for art, obviously. I'm gonna use this notebook and then this folder for my history class, just because this was my notebook for history last year. It's just more familiar for me. I'm also gonna use this notebook, not for any designated course, just for random papers that kind of are miscellaneous. I like to have one of these types of folders every Every single year. This is like my emergency folder. Stuff that I'm using like currently and just important stuff for a certain time period until I put it away. I don't know if that makes any sense. And it looks like the only leftover thing I have here is another folder. I think I'm just gonna use this one for science. I'm gonna take some of this loose leaf paper here. I'm also gonna be doing the same thing with the folder for math class, but I obviously need to go downstairs and go school supply shopping for that one. Now I have everything almost. I need one more notebook for science, one math binder, and another folder with paper for math. Everything's on the side of the screen here. I know it's really confusing. I'm so sorry. But I'm also keeping this and these index cards for whatever reason I might need them. And now to take all of these random notes downstairs as well and store them away. <laughs> So here is where we have all of our school supplies stuff. Like as you can see, I have some binders here, more paper and like glue. Oh my gosh, I don't know which one I want, the teal or the white one. I needed a new folder and a binder for math. And then I also needed this notebook for science. This one's actually brand new. I found it and it's also a really cute blue color, which matches my teal one. So cute. So I'll be using those. This is going to be my math stuff. I went with the white binder just because, I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of blue and teal things going on right now. I do need to change this out. This looks like it was my sister's world history binder from a while ago. See so you guys, we're recycling. Cycling. Reuse your school supplies if you need to or donate them. Do not throw out like nice binders. Also, another thing I want to highly recommend you guys is that when you get binders, get this brand. This is the only type of binders we will buy now. They are from Staples. They're like hard plastic and they have the rubber ends. They're such high quality and I highly recommend them to you if you're looking for good binders that you'll be able to reuse. I'm actually just going to make the label by cutting up an index card. So I'm just going to trace this, I guess. Oh, can you even see what I'm doing? And now I'm going to cut around it. 
And then I use a Sharpie and I'll just put math on it. Cute. There we go. And would you look at that? So I just finished packing up my backpack with all of the school stuff that I kind of went through. The only thing I need to buy now is a planner, which knowing me, I'll probably buy it like the day before school starts or the day after school starts. So now on to the cleaning part of this video because this is my classroom. So I need to make it comfortable and workable for this school year. One thing I need to majorly do is to clean out my closet. I've been redoing my room at my mom's house. Be prepared for that. It's going to be a really, really big room transformation. But to sum that all up. I have a really nice big closet over there and I finally got all the organization system stuff put in there and I want to take more of my clothes that are seasonal. And the closet I have here is very very small so I didn't have much stuff at my mom's house in her closet even in the first place but now I actually want to put like clothes in there now since there's so much more storage. So freaking bad and I would love to put like these backpacks like my tripod like especially my freaking suitcase like I want to be able to put that in here so I want to take out like all the clothes and take that to my mom's house next week it would also be great if I could get some of my shoes in my closet as well let's get cleaning so once again all of these sweaters I'm gonna be putting in a bucket that's right here and it's all going to my mom's house to be stored in my bigger closet that way I have more space in this closet to use it for stuff for here as well this is going over to my mom's house because I actually have a clothing rack area that I can hang this from without it drooping over like half my closet, you know? window light. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me prepare for my senior year. If you like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to. It would really help me out. And I'll see you guys all in my next upload. Bye!